make this video on open G tuning and it's not that challenging to start making some good sounds on your instrument. But there is one thing to think about in the beginning, and that is the strings that you don't need to make any adjustments to. Your thickest string, you want the note D. Your fifth string, you want the note G. The notion with all of these is you're loosening your strings. Particularly in that case, you want to tune up to a note in order to get these machines. These machines here, let me to do the best job possible. I had to make several adjustments, and it wasn't until really the last couple of shorts, and I'm like, well, you know what, I already recorded all these shorts, and if it's not 100% perfect, I'll just have to live with it. The thickest string is D. The fifth string is G. This also makes it not as difficult to press down, you'll notice. There's more slack. That's the note D, that's normal. Consider all of these notes as part of a G chord. You may even, I don't want to get too advanced for you, but you may even use a word triad. B, that's the second string. D, that's the third string. You want to see that. sense to you because ultimately we're going to take the tuner off and listen What's your next step? Then you take the tuner off. You have to turn it off just yet. But check. Does it sound like all the notes are working together? I say it sure does. So now to play your G chord, that's pretty easy, isn't it? Let's drum all six. But what if you wanted to play your C chord? Well, you're looking at this hand right now. So I guess just keep, keep looking at that hand. And I'll turn it in a second. You wouldn't play the thickest string in this situation. So now I'm playing a C. You can also take one finger off to get this sound, which I showed you. I guess I gotta show you that. So that would be with our first finger here, first fret, second string, middle, second finger here. That's the second fret, fourth string. With our ring or third finger here, second fret thinnest. 
Oh, we're strumming. was the G, remember? Now what if you take that shape again? You just had it. And you went like this. Up and up. But this staying the same. And you strummed all six. What do you have now? I've given you are G, C, now you have D7. Gives you a lot of options. And the G, you don't have to do anything. You can play it out sound bluesy to your friends. So if we look at the left hand here, talking you through it, right down stroke there on the fifth string, up stroke on the third string, making a little bar here at the third fret. We're playing strings three and two, and playing it with some attitude. stroke on this mini bar here, third fret. Up stroke on the third string. the third fret fourth string. So that part there. Fifth string again. Up stroke on the G. Third fret fourth string. Stroke on the G. And what I wanted to mention was I told you how to that we can make it real bluesified. That would be by sliding into certain notes. You'll see that's the case in a lot of blue situation you can add a lot just by sliding in certain notes for example well, I played it for you already slide in here some personality going second fret to the uh, third fret playing with two strings Sliding second fret to third fret on the fourth string. Let's see this again. That was a sliding. Sliding. 
that again. And again, those chords. Strum all six. And your C kind of starts out similar to your regular C. But uh, not quite. Take your finger off. Make a slight adjustment. You play all six, you have G7. 